What are you doing, Kyle? Thruster calibration at 50%. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Kyle. <laughs> this game before tell a lie i've had about five minutes on it a long long time ago and i've really really wanted to play it i'm in a kind of space mood and i'm in the mood to play oh look how cool my hands are beep, 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 beep. Open a new voice log entry. Acknowledged. Recording. Okay. This is Captain Liv Rhodes. Personal log entry for 7 of October 21, 26. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be leaving Saturn behind and making my way to my new assignment on Ceres. A bit odd, actually, saying it out loud. Anyway, all mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are a bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 RCS thruster, but Jack and I managed. Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Rhodes. Morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Jack, are you with me? No, I'm Hera, blown away, to be honest. <laughs> let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. In you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. I swear to God, this looks amazing. Module D221. Manual Dexterity. Why have I not played this before? I am Hera. Central AI for the Kronos 2 Orbital Mining Facility. I will guide you through this calibration program. Okay, Hera. First, close your hand to form a fist. <laughs> okay, teach me how to use a grip one. Now extend your index finger. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Ah. Now reach out and grab the glowing disc that just appeared. Right, that gave me some haptic feedback when I press the button. Oh. oh, I'm playing Tron now, sweet. When you are ready, throw the disc into the goal in front of you. Okay, let's check my surroundings to make sure I'm not going to smack into anything in the living room. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Target missed. Press the hollow button to recall the disc. Please try again. Oh, it's got like zero G. Target hit. That would Excellent just. throw. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. I think excellent throw was being kind. Module M101. Basic motor functions. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, it's gonna take some getting used to. Please follow the labor unit to proceed. Yeah, I'm trying. I just suck. 
Okay, let's try and grab onto that. Please take your time and follow the guide. This is quite cool. I mean, the graphics on it's amazing. Can you see the light reflecting on top of this? Hopefully, it's coming across on the recording. It looks Carefully amazing. Climb up the slope Oop. to continue. Oop. Oop. <laughs> you gotta hold your breath. I'm also having to play this on the Rift S. I mean, I probably would have done anyway. I'm having trouble with Air Link on the Quest 2. It's just not working at all. Now carefully pull yourself forward and release to glide to the exit. <sighs> That's not gliding. <laughs> I'm, I'm gliding. <laughs> that suck. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Calibration module complete. Module M two hundred five. Maneuvering thrusters. Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters, allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. Now you tell me. Activate left thruster. Activate right thruster. Now please exit the activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Thrusters can be used in short bursts or held down for continuous usage. Oh. That's not too bad, actually. Please press the hollow button near the door to proceed. Good. Now navigate the environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. Do not grab any surfaces during this test. Brilliant. I want to suck at this. That button didn't vibrate that time. Slightly disappointed. So if you kind of look where you're going... This reminds me a bit of South Park. What are you doing, Kyle? Thruster calibration at 50%. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Kyle. <laughs> this is brilliant. Why have I never played this? Kick ass on that. Calibration module complete. Module C-111. Communication. We will now calibrate your communication system. When someone speaks to you, a reply notification may appear above your wrist. You may then respond by holding down the dialog button on either hand and selecting a reply with your index finger. Hold down the dialog button now. Dialog. Input confirmed. Now hold down the dialog button and select a reply. Oh, it beeped and vibrated. Yeah, get it. Understood. Good. Continuing calibration. Often, you will have a limited time to select a reply. In these cases, silence is considered a viable option. Do you understand? I'm not going to answer it. I'm just going to do silence like you said. No response registered. Proceeding with calibration. Now exit the activation pod and move into the room ahead. Clever. Look at the thrusts on the hand. Look at that. Oh, it's both sides. You can also initiate conversations at points of interest throughout the world. If you look at certain people or objects while you are close to them, their name will appear, and an icon will indicate that you can use the dialog button. You may then hold down the dialog button and select an option, just like a reply. Now start a conversation with the labor unit, and speak about the Fury transport model in this room. Wait, what? I was too busy looking at how amazingly cool those blue reflective lights were. 
Please talk about the two points of interest in the room to continue. Okay, I've got to go to the robot. Hey, Mr. Robot. Unit 42, what is your primary directive? To assure the safety and well-being of Kronos 2 station personnel. What is your secondary directive? Preserving the integrity of Atlas Corporation property and equipment. Are we done? Okay. Wow, look how cool this is. Please talk about the two points of interest in the room to continue. Wait, this is the ship, right? It just told me that, I think. No, what have we done? I want to break it already. A Mark I Fury transport, 148th scale. Be advised, while real Fury transports can be used to travel to distant locations across the Kronos 2 station, I do not recommend attempting to ride this one. Noted. Communication system fully calibrated. Would you like to proceed to the next module? Yes. I'm ready to proceed. Acknowledged. Please stand by. That's amazing, that model. Module A-131. Data scanner. Error. Calibration program failure. Stand by for reboot. Sounds like air links packed up. The directors have been pushing to make fully automated deep space mining the company's top priority. Your echo unit is the perfect subject for our initial test runs. This is crap. I'm one week from leaving and you're just now telling me Jack's not coming. <sighs> Command wants the echo unit to assume your duties when you leave for series. Well, how long has Command known about this? Liv, uh, I don't think... How long? Higher-ups have been discussing it for... Maybe six months. Six months? But the final decision didn't come down until late last week. No, forget it. This is unacceptable. Command's not really asking for your approval here. Tell Command to look at our numbers. Look at our harvest totals, purity levels. Our efficiency rating jumps three points every quarter. Command wants to see numbers like that on series? I need Jack with me. <sighs> Still calling him Jack, huh? Well, what else would I call him? Look, I get it. You've been working with that particular unit a while. Okay, I see where this is going. But it's a machine. It doesn't actually care about you. Whatever attachment you think you have with it isn't real. It's all just algorithms and subroutines. This is different. Jack is different. Either way, it doesn't matter. Your orders stand. The Echo unit is to remain on the station. Understood? Just hear me out. Is that understood? Captain Rhodes. Understood. Kronos 2 out. The acting on this is really cool. Jack? What happened? Airlink's broke. Yeah, I just got a blank screen when I tried to use Airlink. <laughs> My calibration program crashed. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before. It must have suspended the pod's release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level 3 inspection of... You see my arm glitch then? It went all weird. You're all set. The facial movements and everything is amazing. Listen, about my conversation with Command, how much did you ever hear? Heard all that, son of a bitch. I heard enough to know I'm no longer going with you to Ceres. Seems you earned yourself a promotion. The directors want you to take over my duties as station commander. You'll be in charge. That would make this our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... They just... Hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never even considered it a possibility. This has blown my mind. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Uh-oh. Except... <laughs> Let go of the lightsaber. 
I'm sorry, Jack. Oh, but I wanted to come and play. Don't want to leave me here. Is there somebody else talking about? Oh, there's another robot dude, which is... I can't quite see his name. Look at the lightsaber I threw. Come on, then. No sense putting it off. Let's get our last week started. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? Copy that. Okay, I can see the next objective. I threw that lightsaber thing down there. Look, and it's still floating. The physics in this. PC VR gaming, eh? How many years old is this game? Oh, I've even got a ball. Watch. It's just amazing. Everything about this. I think I'm just going to spend like 10 minutes looking at all this. <laughs> right, I want to get to the Menke. Menke! Swear monkey? It doesn't pick me up, that's good. <laughs> Wait, it's another disc. I should activate the bridge. Don't worry about that, Jackie boy. We're fine. Just get into grips with how to maneuver. Echo Arena? Hang on a minute. So this is the Echo Arena game as well? Well, this is the disc for it. Helium-3 sample. Where is she? Okay. Yep, yeah, I still can't throw that for sh**. Oh, it is low. Echo Arena. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I just pushed the TV. Don't tell the missus that one. So that's a score. So Jack kicks ass at Echo Arena. Look at that. How clever is that? Right, there's some sort of uh, ship there. Let's have a look at... I should activate the bridge. Don't worry about it, Jackie boy. I've already said. Is that what we're on? SRXT. Oh, it's a giant ball. This is amazing. Look at all the things to look at. Memorial plaque. Let's have a look at that. John B. Archer, first commander of the Kronos 2. Ballhead. Oh, yeah. Why well, have we got a British bulldog on there? Oh, stay. Uh oh. I should activate the bridge. Yeah, in a minute. We'll get there. Dinosaurs. Ooh. Why is the dinosaurs knocking about? Alan. Okay. Alan the T Rex. Gina the Diplo. Is it? And Neat the Stegosaurus. Oh, Gina's gone for a fly around. Fine. Let's activate it. Like okay, I can grab stuff. What's that? Oh, peanuts. <laughs> Kronos 2. Titan Fleet. 2121. Second station to bear the name. Oh yeah, so the first one was that one, right? No, oh, that's Kronos 2. No idea. Get the old finger out. Transitioning to daytime cycle. Holy f I'm really going to miss this part. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Just give me a moment to soak in this view. Yeah, me and all. Take your time. Oh, amazing is this. Wait a minute. Saturn? 
That says Saturn, but I can't... Oh, what do you mean I can't see it? I'm actually... <laughs> I was looking at the dark bit. So I'm actually around Saturn. Look at all the ships floating about. Can you see these hexagonal patterns as well on the window? Man, it's going to take me years to play this. This is amazing, Captain. Isn't it? But you won't keep showing me a name. I know a name. You seem upset. You're getting way too good at reading human responses, you know that. Well, I have had a few years of practice. Yeah, it shows. So, Jack, I suppose congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days you'll be Captain Jack. <laughs> so, congratulations Captain Jack. <laughs> what I mean is, as an Echo Unit, I hold no official rank. So technically, I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. <laughs> also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? Look at the facial expressions. I have no... What was that? Uh-oh. Jack, did you feel that? Yeah. Whoa! What the hell? And again. Someone's gone f***ed up. P please tell me you can see that. See what? It says unknown. Do you mean that? Do you mean that thing that says unknown? Captain? Jack, there's something outside the bridge window. Oh. You need to see this. The little man down there? There's a little man lot. Can you guys see that little dude? So where am I looking? Yeah, it says unknown. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> right, and now I'm stuck. Perhaps we've got to fly around a bit more. Look at the shadows. I'm seeing something out the front window. Yeah, I can as well. Can you come up here and confirm? <laughs> I've just been! Oh, I can grab onto air. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so what we're looking at. Can I click that? Oh, I've seen it then. I've seen it then. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. What the? Jack, are you all right? I scared the shit out of me. I believe so. You were glitching out. The disturbance briefly disrupted my internal systems, but I'm not reading any permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Hera, initiate broad spectrum scan. Focus on the following coordinates. Mm. You know what, I love this flying about stuff. 
mean, I'm garbage, but I love it. Is that gone? Pew pew. Okay, hollow table. I'm here. Activate priority one system alert. Oh, I've got to go to the side. I love the music as well. Uh oh. How are we doing, Captain? This is one of the best games I've ever seen. Why have I not played it? Take a shot every time I say that. Error status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledged. Isolating. Awaiting input. Evacuation zone beta. Even this is in 3D. Saturn. Okay. Saturn orbital zone beta. That's false, isn't it? Orbital mining facility. Designation Kronos 2. Okay. Controller field. Depleted dig site. So it's some sort of mining site. Primary cargo helium 3 isotope. Something's red there. Central mining station. This is amazing. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? How the hell did we... Oh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, little bugger? Ah, here we are. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this CubeSat? I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. Awaiting manual input for calibration. Module A-131. Data scanner. Oh, is this what balls up before? Your scanning tool allows you to collect data on anything in the environment. Please exit the pod to begin calibrating it. Please follow me to the disk spawner at the back of the room. Now activate your scanner by pressing the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Oh, left and right handed. Got the reflections of the light. Good. Now aim the scanner at the IO port on the disk spawner and hold the trigger to initiate a scan. You know what? I don't like this one. I want to do it the other way. This is amazing. It's all 3D. Please scan the IO port to continue. It's a bit dead space. After scanning something, its name will appear next to your hand on the scanner's data tab. To see the results of your scan, grasp the tab and pull it away from your hand. Pull the data tab now. Oh. Excellent. Use the button on top of your hand to deactivate the scanner now. I get it. Good. To complete this module, gather scan data on five other materials or objects. Okay. <laughs> Have I got to scan that? You must scan additional objects or materials to complete this calibration module. Four scans remaining. I've never played that core either. Is it any good? Someone up now. Can I scan you? What Three is? scans remaining. Simulated virtual reality terrain, part of the Echo model calibration program. Can I scan this? Two scans remaining. Okay, this is just all the stuff that's knocking about. What else can I scan? Is 
You must scan additional objects or materials to complete this calibration module. Yes, I hear. I don't think I can get through here though, can I? Uh oh. Okay, let's scan some more stuff down here, I guess. I'm getting the hang of flying right now a lot. One scan remaining. Carbon framed carbon fiber android activation pod. Beep. Let's get a scan. Oh. I've already scanned that. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. No idea. All set? Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. This is sweet as f Can I put it there? Oh, look at it like chest. Look at it. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well, problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Right then, on to the real problems. What do you think? What's next? I get it, so I've got to find them in my travels. Box. Shit. Well, Hera's scan of the anomaly is likely to take a while. In the meantime, we might as well get started on those repairs. I'll need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. Oh, press the wrong button. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Meet live in the activer. CubeSat reactivation. Okay, so I can have a fly about and find stuff. And I'm going to leave that for the next part. If anybody wants to see me play this, I love it. I'm going to play it anyway, but what I should say is if you want to see me record this and play it, please let me know. And I shall do so. So, until next time. Floating robot, dude. Out. <laughs> this is amazing. I can't fly for no. Oh well. See you next time, dudes. <laughs> Just in my dreams.